Okay, this is your boy Michael with H&M Limousine. Uh, initially, I thought I had a dead battery in my 2004 Cadillac DeVille with the V8. And unfortunately, that is not the case. So, I was going to do a video about the Hulkman 10.0, a little review. And I was also going to do one for the Noco Boost GB70. First, I started off with a GB70 to try to start the car, and it's just clicking, click, 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 click. Then I started with a 10.0, and it should have started the car up. They both should have started the car up, actually. And all you hear is click, 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 click. So I'm thinking possibly we have a starter issue or some other issue. So we're going to make this video about Think Car. This is the system where. We got the one hand going here. Bear with me. Okay. There's a little computer that scans your car for problems. Let's go give it a whirl, okay? We're going to go inside the 2004 Cadillac DeVille. Yeah, there's nothing more frustrating than having a car not start for whatever reason. And you think it's the problem, the battery, and it's not. Let's just give it a little. Oops. Okay, let's just give it a little. Click again. Here's the key. As you could hear, just going click, 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 click. Okay, so let's. Here's the unit. Here's the little Bluetooth dongle. Right here. This is attached actually to the system right here. I will show you in one second. Now we got to go underneath, obviously. I hate that noise. Let me take the key out. Okay, gotta figure out where it goes. Underneath on your OBD. Let me see where this guy is. Okay. Where is it? There it is, right up there somewhere. I think it's right. There you go. Okay. There we go. And you heard the beep and the light should be on. Let me see. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Now what we do is we turn the machine on. You gotta press the button here. And there you go. And the cool thing is this machine actually has a hand grip in there. You could add software, you could do anything. Let's see what we got here. Think car. Okay. There we go. Let's see what the problems are. Let's get you guys. Close. Okay. This takes a couple minutes actually. You know, even though it's a quicker, you know, there's a quicker version. Store. Okay, here we go. Okay. Diagnose. Auto search. Now it automatically scans for your VIN. And hopefully this will tell us what the problem is with the no start on this Cadillac DeVille 2004. But like I said, just bear with me. I am not going to cut the video in any way I want you to know it's legit that everything is on the up and up so if it takes a couple extra seconds you can fast forward I don't like to stop and you know I don't like to edit videos okay notes fail to scan the VIN code please manually enter huh that's weird okay let's try it again Let's try it one more time. Yeah, this is not the, uh, there you go, I think, yeah, okay. That was my fault. Okay. I thought the key was turned enough. It was not. 
Okay, let's see what it says. Like this is just the pre-scan. Okay, now um, health report. Now here's where it takes a little while, but we're gonna bear with us. <laughs> Reading for data. Please wait. Yeah, I love that. powertrain system. It looks like there's one code so far. Yeah, this is the actual long test, you know, it's the, you know, test everything. Yeah, this thing tool, like the Mini, it was, um, I think it was $349, I believe, on Amazon. But it's very well worth it. I've used it a couple times in different situations, and it's told me the problems every time. Instrument panel module, there's a code. I don't really want to touch it until it's fully. Fully downloaded everything. But this is actually a bi-directional as well. You could do actuation tests, all kinds of tests on here. Rear climate control panel, there's a code. Okay. Well, I mean, this is 2004. So far, there's three codes, 82%. Door drive module, passenger door module codes. I noticed a lot of these co uh, codes were in there for a while, and I cleared them out, and they came back, which means there's a problem. Okay, let's see what we have here. Passenger door. Okay, let's see the powertrain system one. Enter. Um... Read fault code. Let's see what it is. Huh. See what it is. Lost communication with integration panel, integration module. Last test. Pass this ignition. Pass since cleared. Pass and failed history. Okay. Uh, see what else we got here? Hit the back button. Again. Again. Okay, instrument panel. Uh, I don't think anything else would do that. Hmm. Current diagnostic trouble codes. Let's try that again. Temperature control three circuit range and device power circuit low. So we have a B0429 and a B1327. Okay, let me, uh, let me just clear fault code, yes, I'm going to clear the fault codes, clear DT, yes, successful, perfect, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clear all the codes out, where is it, clear DTCs, yes, so now, you know, it takes a couple minutes again to, okay, now it's showing Everything is clear, naturally, except the instrument panel module. Yeah, that, that one did not clear. Huh. Okay, yeah, a lot of them did not clear. Yeah, perfect. Okay, what do we got here? Let's go back. Okay, you got maintenance and service. Let's see what? Okay, uh, let's just see the. Um, uh, what do we got here? Uh, BMS. Let's see what? Let's see if it shows anything. Okay, function introduction. Hyundai. No, it's just GM. Cadillac. Boom. Okay, Deville. I don't even think it goes back that far. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay. No, it doesn't go back that far. It's weird. <laughs> okay.